And that breaking news coming out of the Texans' front office, a preseason bombshell that nobody saw coming. The team's general manager relieved of his duties. Brian Gain had only been GM for one season. The decision to release him, essentially firing him, was a surprise to many. Adam Wexler handling all things sports for Minute Maid Park tonight. Wex. Yeah, a surprise, a bombshell. Both you and Dominique have said the right things. That's what the Texans did this afternoon here in early June after the Texans' three weeks of off-season training workouts and now just a couple of days before their first mandatory minicamp of the off-season, a couple weeks before training camp, and now they're in search of a new general manager, Brian Gain, who was hired in January of 2018, just 17 months on the job here in Houston, so just that one full season of work. Uh, some words around the league, some speculation that the Texans were completely displeased with the job that Brian Gain had done, but thought more could have been done to upgrade this roster, especially at a time where Deshaun Watson heads into his third season and clearly could be a quarterback that leads this team to places they've never gone before. The Texans also recognized the timing of this move a bit odd as they released their own statement today, saying in part, after a thorough evaluation of the football operations, we've decided to relieve Brian Gain of his duties as general manager. Brian is a man of high character, and we appreciate his contributions to our organization. They went on to recognize, again, the timing may be unusual. This decision was made in the best interest of our organization in our quest to build a championship team for the city of Houston. Chris Olson will be the interim general manager for the Texans. And J.J. Watt on Twitter was posed the question about his thoughts on this move. And J.J. said quite simply, in very few words, saying, I just want to win, man. I don't care who, how, what. I just want to win. No doubt those sentiments are shared by his teammates, about 90 of them right now before they get to mandatory minicamp, and of course the fans here in Houston eagerly hoping for more to cheer for for the Texans who last they saw them were on their own home field losing rather embarrassingly in the postseason to the Colts. We'll have more on this coming up at 6 o'clock in sports. We're at the ballpark talking Texans. Adam Wexler, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports.